Okay, so welcome back to the infected everybody. So I've been gone for a little bit working on a side project, but I'm back for for now. Um, last episode we went out and we explored a little bit more, trying to find the tech for the uh, what was it? It was the chemistry table, as well as the circular saw bench. That's two. I remember that's what I wanted. Let's see. It was right here. Chemistry table. Yeah. So. I want these two. This makes it to where I get more planks. I think three versus two, which is, you know, not a lot, but it builds up faster. And it also automatically uh, cuts the, the board, so I don't need to do that manually. One thing I'm going to do really quick. I think I only need, how many do I need? I need to make the hat. What was it? One copper ingot, six Kevlar, and three cloth. I'm going to throw these in there. Go ahead and start getting some of the stuff smelted. Got the Kevlar. I don't need any more copper. Need to find a place to put the plastic. I really should start working towards the mechanical parts too, because I would like to go out and put down one of the extractors, which I probably should make. Did I make an extractor now? I don't know if I really need it. I do have a lot of, uh, where is it at? I do have a lot of lead and I need that lead in order to make steel so I can make my artificial greenhouse, which is also going to be up top. This episode was supposed to be designed or supposed to be focused on designing the gazebo, trying to get the blueprints out here. Now that's, that is what I'm going to do. But the extractor is also something that could be useful. Hmm. But first things first, I want to make the hat. I don't need any more copper. I think it was only six. And I just... Five. Six of that. And what was it? Three cloth. Plus one copper on the workbench. Double check. Because my memory is yet yeah. three cloth, six Kevlar, one copper. Okay, so I was right. About done. All right. There is my hat. So Try to remember L. Yep. L for light. I should probably chop that tree down because that's going to get annoying. Uh, figure out which one it is. Okay. I should also turn off the forge. Something I really got to get myself in the habit of doing. I was also thinking about my uh, canteen. I only have two aluminum. But, and I've killed quite a bit and I have not gotten another piece of aluminum from the enemy. I'm hoping that the next encounter I'll get a piece so I can make my flask. My big old canteen. Oh, there's a sheep. I need sheep. Hang on. I need as many sheep as I can get. How'd he go? Did he... Did he go into the wall? I've been hearing about that happening. Did that just happen? You live to see another day. Double check this side and make sure it didn't somehow glitch over here. Dang, I don't, I don't know what happened. It, ghost. It was a ghost. The only thing I can think of. Get this out of the way. I'm gonna put this here for now. There's also another thing that the developer told me. Give me one second. He mentioned it on Discord, so you can go on the Discord and you can see where he said it. So I can't remember the exact range. I'd have to go look, and I'm not going to do that at the moment. There he is. Hold on. Yep. No. Just stop running. Okay. I want the the wool. 
Where's the push guard? Then here. Hang on. Lost track of thought again. Uh, right here. Okay, so, um, what was it? It was the, uh, the garage. Okay, so he mentioned something about the garage. I deleted it. I don't know if it was last episode or the one before that one. Because all these trees regrow every five days. And he mentioned something about if you have your uh, blueprints or... I don't know if it needs to be a blueprint mode or ghost as some people refer to it. Or if it needs to be built if it matters or not. But these will not grow within a certain vicinity. And I can't remember what the value was. I think it was like 1,500 Unreal units. Uh, but I can't remember. So I don't know if these will grow back if I cut them down, but I will be chopping these down because I don't actually want these trees here. But we'll deal with that at another time. I just thought it was interesting information. Got this really quick. And another thing that I was corrected on by the developer, so the episode where I was going over the developer insights, I mentioned one thing about the campsites spawning after 24 hours. I was mistaken on that. I thought that that was something that he was going to put in, but turns out that that was just a concept that he was thinking about. It actually has not happened yet. So they do spawn instantaneously. As soon as you take one out, another one spawns. Currently. I could always change, but that's currently how it works. I want to make sure these are eaten. But you... Right there. Do I need animal hide for anything else? Couches, I suppose. I have a feeling I'm going to get lots of that, so I'm going to let that one expire. I'd have to make a whole nother chest just to put that in. Anyways, let's fill this up one more time. Come over here. Cut down these trees. The bush is still not back. So that's good, I suppose. Fill this up. These two will go over here. I'm trying to get these blank holders filled. Could have done it off camera, but I didn't. I was impatient. And and another ten. That's twenty. So I've got one more to fill, plus these. Oh, okay. I don't. Not. Whatever. Another 10. This is why I want the circular saw bench. I'm kind of undecided on whether or not I want to get Mike. Because there's no option to send him away, just in case you change your mind. Once you have him, you have him. But I was thinking, all the bugs that I keep running into... No, nah, never mind, I'll get him. Screw it. Change my mind. Hmm. That one. Got my cucumbers. So if I move this, which I can't, so that might be a problem, but we'll see. It may not be. Okay, what is going on? How much? Really? 50.9? Um, I need to do something about my inventory. That's good. I'll just go ahead and throw these in there. I really should just move my workbench. I'll make another one, actually. Workbenches. Standard workbench. I'll put it right here. That requires 10 planks and 10 nails. No nails in here. But plenty of planks. Let's go grab my nails really quick. I can always make another anvil. Okay. 
Got my 10 nails. Make sure I have everything I need. Huh. So I wanted the wool, and I'm hoping that you can raise sheep to get more wool because the the some of the structures that I make, some of the rooms, they're going to have a fully carpeted area. And there is a trick to doing it. In my speed build, I did it in one of the rooms, or maybe two of them, I can't remember, where the entire floor is covered in carpet. Some of them kind of overlapping. It's very obvious that they're separate. There is a trick that I discovered in order to make it to where it's more seamless. And whenever I get to that point, I will show it to you. In the meantime, I need to get this grid locked. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out where exactly I want it to come out at. Over here. There's... I think that's good. Out of curiosity, if I go all the way over, how would that look? Oh, so, not. Completely what I had in mind. Maybe I would go one more over, maybe two more. That way you can go straight to this. But the idea is to have it right here in the middle. I'm trying to plan here. I'm trying to figure out how I want this to look. Hmm. Delete these really quick. So the whole point of this, the whole gridlock thing. Is intended to make it to where no matter what I build, everything will align properly without having to remove the snapping to the foundation, which I still have not figured out how it works properly. You you take you toggle off snap and it still snaps, so I don't know what the purpose of all that is. So this is where I'll have it. So actually I, I took too many away. And can I do that of course it's supposed to be lower damn it let's freaking use our errors here hold on work with me come on Okay, I'm gonna have to readjust them, but that's fine. I can get this deleted. Okay. But this would go lower. Oh, I can't. This is... That's where I need to have it. Okay. Hmm. So I'm just going to mimic the gazebo that I made in the previous season. Because I really like that design, except for because of the height, I'm not going to really be able to make the fireplace. And that's not a big deal. While it's raining, I'm going to move this. And obviously those plants will not remain there. I will eventually move them. But I need to get at least a platform. I guess that's my immediate goal is to get the platform where I'm going to put the greenhouse on. Get that established. Drop this down. And I'm going to make more planks. This might be an issue. Maybe not. Put you here and there. 
delete you really quick. Okay. So I guess I'll have stairs on every end like I did the last time. Except for maybe these two spots because I had to move it over. So if I come over here and I lower this, lower it again, it does align. So that's good. Can't climb on these anymore. So that means that these ones are too far over. So I can delete them really quick. So this is the magic one. So I gotta figure out how far I want this to go up here and I'll have like a bridge. Too bad it doesn't sag in the middle. That'd be kind of cool with rails. But it'll be, you know, a bridge and I'll have somewhere in the middle have stilts. Just so it looks more structurally sound, yeah, for lack of a better word. This is backwards. All right, that looks good. And I'll dress the middle when I get to it. Let's go get a couple of these, bring them out there and get to work. This is the next instruction zone. Again, I got to be picky about what trees I cut down. One of the reasons that I'm kind of on the fence about Mike. I'm probably going to get him anyways. But something tells me he's going to ruin the aesthetic of this place. There's another chicken, which I actually need to kill him. Oh, you lucky. Come here. You're gonna die. Oh. Are you kidding me? Okay. Try that again. Where, where'd he go? There he is. Oh, sneaky bastard. Here. I'm here. Oh, you. Why? Why are you so elusive? Come here. Maybe I should make a bow. I want your meat. Come here. Jesus. There's right here. The four planks. Grab those really quick. Maybe for now, I'll just leave these in here. And these. Eh. Actually, I'm gonna cook that. Especially that liver. 
then I really need to bring one of those containers of water, which I put over here. These things are starting to throw me off. Eventually, all of this will be off the ground. I really thought that these would fill up. I moved them while it was raining. Not very good. Yeah, the last one took away. Uh, do I have any food over here? I got watermelons. That saved me a little bit of time. Really wanted these to decompose, but I guess this works. A little bit of thirst. What about over here? Uh, these should be good. Okay. Well, back to it then, I guess. I guess here in the middle, I can put a platform down. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. All right, that is the right orientation, I think. It looks like really, okay, there we go, I see it. Um, and that is where I'll put the stairs that'll go straight up the middle. And that's how I'll do that. Let's go over here and grab these really quick. A eh. couple too many, but that's all right. Two extras. If I'm ever in a bind or a pinch, I could always just run out for the water and get some water that way. I need to do something with this, which I, I still don't have what I need. I need a map. Oh, there we go. What about the watermelon? No. Cucumber I have. That's good. That gives me a little bit of water. Till the next rainstorm. That's all I'm waiting on is the rainstorm. Where the water house would come in handy. Pumpkin out here. I know that gives you a little bit of water. Okay, so let's look at this really quick. I think it's food. So I need one raw chicken, one melon, one mushroom, and one egg. And I make that on the food prep table, right? Which I don't have made. Hmm. And there's the catch. Let's see. Placeables, workbenches, food. I just need... Yeah, it's the butcher table. Food prep table. Two wooden logs, ten planks, ten nails. That's not bad. I'm just going to build it over here just so it's out of the way. But this isn't where it's going to remain. It's just where I happen to have most of the ingredients that I need. Kill two. Get my nail, make that so I can make my ration before the chicken expires. Nails. I'm gonna put these seeds away. Oh, corn. Okay, so, one melon, one mushroom, one chicken, one egg. Small ration. So that provides me with ten thirst. And I was hoping for more. That that works. This has got an hour left. I'll wait. Just continue working where I'm at. Hmm. 
more planks. Sorry, as usual, when I'm building, I tend to run out of things to talk about. I can't really talk about what I'm going to do in the future because I have a bad habit of not following through what I'm going to do. At least it changes. It was a dynamic style of play. More planks. Let's grab it. I was not. But both sides are done. So now what I need to do is... Hmm. Other... I think these... I'm going to put these on... can't put them on the outside. So I'll put them all on the inside. Oops. Yeah, one side. Okay, and then I'll take my railings, which there. Interesting how they have that. You can put it kind of inside as well. And the long one. Can't really do anything for the little one. Oh, actually, you can. That would actually work. That works. I'm doing it. All right, so there is the bases of the sides and I'm going to put the stairs and when you run in I want to be able to go just straight up so I'll go straight up and I actually don't know how many floors I'm going to go which means that I need to start focusing on this area over here so I can kind of build across and attach it and just build this up more planks Magic. M magic bird. <laughs> Got a nice little texture on him. Let's get really close. And I see the individual. It looks like he's wearing. It looks like fur. Interesting. Okay. Enough distraction. Really? All right. Oh, turn this back on. Oh. If I remember correctly, he made it through. You fall now if I go through there. There are animals all over. Anyone who says that animals are scarce probably just needs to stay stationary for a little bit. They are everywhere. Still there. Now he's really flying. They're my pets. I'll make the farm. They're my food. All right. So this spot right here will have railing. Okay. I should finish this too. But the gazebo is the main focus of this episode. So ceilings. Okay. 
Okay. Can't remember. I think that right there. Right? Yeah. One more. Or two more. This is attached to the wall, quote unquote. Use your imagination. More planks. More logs. This is where it would branch off this direction, which means this probably should have been a platform. So I am going to delete that. I, just, I don't know. It seems more fitting if it was like this. Although it does seem offset and I don't like that. Let's build it and see what happens. Hmm. Might just add it there, have it come out. It just seems off. Something's off with it. Oh, let's go. Yeah, I don't know why that is. Okay, so to counter that, well, no, that built off of that, which was part of this found it. Why is it off? This one's not, right? No, that's off too. I might have to just accept that. Uh, maybe that'll fix with the uh, weird. Maybe that'll fix after I upgrade it, if I decide to upgrade, which I really wasn't planning to initially. But okay. For now, I guess we'll deal. So this is one, two, is a two, two stories up. And I, oh, this is a ceiling, so I can't do that. I'll have to do a platform, which I don't want to do. Which means I need to build a foundation. Right. And then I need to build a wall. And then I build a ceiling. Then I delete these. Maybe. Oh, that didn't go down. What is going on here? That goes down half? I didn't realize that. Growing pains. Try that again. Okay, that seems more accurate. So I need one more plank and then I can put my wall up. Because I can carry. Now the wall. All right. Delete these. This. I don't know. Oh, there's another sheep. Oh, you. <laughs> wow. Okay. You know what? I, I'll get more. There's clearly sheep in the area. Nope, never mind. I take that back. I want him. I want to get the wool. And it's raining again. That's good. Which means that 
I should be able to go and harvest. Or not harvest, but... Oil. Okay, so back to work. Almost out of resources. I don't have some plank on me, so let's head upstairs. Healing. Yeah, this part's gonna bother me. Hmm. Okay, so now that we have this built, if I look wooden wall, let's delete that. Drop it down. I'm gonna have to delete that from the bottom. Right about there. Ah, uh, that would put me right over. Okay. Screw it. I will start working on getting more logs from chopping down these trees. So over here, there seems like they're far away from everything for a little bit, so... Or, enough. Oh, the sheep. I need to do that too. Right, where's, I think, was it over here? No, no, it was over here. There you are. The next sheep on the table. So that takes how much does it actually take? So six wool, and that's four wool. Plus the forty plant fiber in the cloth. I'm gonna put one of these down just so I can start storing the wool since I can actually move it. Then the plant fiber. Okay. And then there was the cloth. I don't recall where I put the cloth. Okay. Well, I'll find more. If I get one more sheep, I can have my first carpet, a rug. I need to do something about my weight, though. Go use this really quick. It's a little bit. more here. I want to crew can you? Oh, you can still. Okay. So, actually, this might be the better location for... Because right there, I can just have it travel across. So I'm going to do that. But can I jump down without hurting myself, though? Ooh, just... Nope, you can't. Can't tell which orientation. All right. I'll delete these. All right. So that's how it'll have that little support. It goes across. And then I'll have another one that goes up top. 
And maybe I'll have it going at an angle. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Piggy. Grab you really quick. Continue the process. Maybe. Oh, I gotta do it all up. I forgot it. Damn it. Um, I should have had it go out twice. Unless, can I do like, no, I can't. I can't have these attached like that. The more you know. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just get it over with. That the height of the appropriate height. Over here looks like it's a smaller drop. Uh, nope, it's not. It was a bigger one. Okay, so I've got the plant fiber. I just need the sticks. All right, so it is two sticks. Five plant fiber? Yep. And let's go ahead and eat this ration. Big boost on everything, which I'm happy about. So that looks correct. want to have a unique design, you kind of need to make workarounds. question is is will this actually align will it line up with the gazebo or will that be offset by like a, a half wall which means I'd have to tear all of this down and do it again which is why I'm trying to get this closer first so let's jump up and delete this Coming together. Still don't care for the fact that it's offset. That little lip. Very noticeable. Hmm. Guess I don't have a choice. I'm going to have to make another chest. I can't help but notice that the chests also look different. They have this dark look as opposed to the more lively looks. Too bad you can't paint them with like blood and make them red. A little dark, but it'll be nice to do. make one more. Looks like I only need two more in order to actually reach my destination. Yeah. So, uh, I need to get this built. I want to see just how aligned this is. I'm hoping I don't have to redo the gazebo. That was a lot of work. Alright. If I jump down, it's going to hurt. So I'll go, I'll go the long way. And then, of course, there's also going to be railings all along that. 
How am I supposed to verify this? Okay, good. So it does line. A line. So I can continue working on the gazebo as is. Look at all this unnecessary stuff. Okay. So these need to be built next. There a tree that's far enough away where it looks like I can get it to respawn. Since I'm here. Oh, there's another ration. Go ahead and put these in really quick. Their range seems to be much higher now. Gotcha, finally. Food table. So I've got everything I need. All right, so I need one mushroom, one chicken, one egg and one melon. That gives me another ration. Only 0.25 or 12, 12, 5. That's half of what the other one was, I think. Was it? Is it? Let's see. I keep thinking that's food for whatever reason. <laughs> Didn't that used to be 0.5 in version 13 so everything was cut in half these still you think these would give you at least point one make them a little bit more worthwhile hmm look another rainstorm is getting ready to come in uh, cut down another tree. Just about time for me to call it. Go ahead and put the logs in that as well. Go fill this up. Hmm. Can I put a ceiling here? And that's great. I don't have the planks. Not really doing me any justice, but at least I can put ceilings on that. Go over here and make some more planks. So that means that I need to take that. I'm on the second floor, so this, the gazebo needs to go up at a minimum four floors just to match this. One, two, three, yeah. So that'll be a whole nother episode. I think off camera I'm going to focus on getting this all stocked up. But really quick, I'm going to go build that one thing. Feeling, so yeah. One more floor, or th three more floors. So I'm gonna come up. Hmm. Can you? There's no way you can have like the stairs work like this. 
That would be convenient. But I might have to do it that way, dead. I'm gonna have to think on this. I I'm more than likely gonna do it this way and then just have it like over here on the third floor. It'll go up one more. Then over here will be the fourth floor. And then over here will be the fifth floor if it goes that high. But we'll see. However, this is where we gotta conclude it. I'm happy with what we have so far. Let's get a good angle here. All these trees over here will eventually grow back. Yeah. All right, well, this is gonna be a construction blueprint or a thumbnail. Don't have to deal with it. But at least the gazebo is being made. We've got our first bridge set. We just now, we need to make the gazebo meet that bridge. So it actually looks good, put railings on it. And uh, it's possible I might I might tear down this corner here and make it another one of these these uh, planted ones and have it go straight across. Or maybe not. Hmm. There's going to be a, a lot of trial and error in this season, I have a feeling. Because this, this build is going to be very unique, I think. But anyways, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a message, let me know what you think. Any tips, tricks, or hints would be greatly appreciated. I am the Ambient King, and I'll see you in the next one.